Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft uh, world. This will be kind of not an episode, kind of an episode. I think I'm going to just mark this as like 2.5. Because what we're going to do today is I'm going to do some very, very grindy, very, very fast resource mining. And when I say very fast, I mean I'm going to time lapse this episode. Uh, so I might do some voiceovers, some nattering, or it may just be some wonderful and peaceful music. But anyway, let's get started. So we've actually just found something while I was doing a little bit of grinding. We found... There's a man here somewhere. He, sh he just shot me. There he is. 
we found a skeleton spawner and a mine shaft, which is a crazy double find. I like skeleton spawners. Uh, they're very useful. We've not found any diamonds yet, um, but I thought while I'm here, we could do a little bit of ooh, double horse armor name tags and seeds for watermelons and beetroots and some buckets. Lovely. There was also a chest over here with more goodies in it. Lovely. Okay, well this was a great find. This is like right under our base. Do you know what I was thinking to myself? Like, it would be great if we had a spawner somewhere nearby. Because we, um, we can make a mob farm and with the skelly spawner we get bone meal of course, which is nice. Uh, that was quite a lovely find. And now I'm just having a little explore. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into this because I will get lost but let's just have a little explore grabbing what we need when we can I've been sort of trying to make sure to grab as much iron as possible uh, I'm not worried about the copper as much right now um, because of course it's very much not a useful block um, in the sense that iron is like I can make tools with iron uh, so let's just fill this up with some light. We're going to have to light all of this up anyway if we want to do that skelly spawner. But at least having a little browse is nice. And we can see if there are any more um, minecart chests. So don't think there is here though. At least not in this direction. I know there was another direction for us to go um, by the spawner. Which the spawner is... Oh, I'm already lost. This way. The spawner's this way. Uh, the spawner is just over there. Uh, we've done all of this direction. It's quite a small little one from what I can see so far. But the, of course the spawner spawned inside the... Um, inside. Oh, it goes this way as well. Christ. Christ. Just give me some more goodies, please. Um, let's just have a little, little skim. But yeah, we're doing all right. We've got some, uh, I've mostly just been mining. I thought I would do some log cutting as well at some point. But for now, we're just doing some mining. Ooh, where does that lead to? Oh, just another portion. Nice. Yeah, just another portion. We won't, we won't stray too weirdly yet. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, uh, we've got a lot of torches on us still, so that's fine. Um, I don't think there's anything down here. Nope. Oi. Christ. Big ravine as well. Big ravine. Um, I don't think there's anything down this side actually either which is interesting. So there's only one other side to, I think, skim, which is the side that goes like this way. And yet again, I think it's another dead end. So we've actually fully sort of explored this. Uh, oh, it goes up. Okay, let's have a little, little peek. I hear that skeleton jangling away. Um, see if we can navigate our way around this. Just looking for goodies, but we might call it there, goodies wise, because I don't want to lose what we've got. Oh, some gold though. I haven't actually found any gold yet. It's the first bit of gold I've seen. Oh, and another piece of gold. Oh, a piece of candy. Let's mine all this gold, and we'll uh, we'll take our goodies up to the surface. Because I do this quite commonly. I will um. I will get goodies like this, and then stay down here, chancing my luck, and then I'll lose it all. And I'll also show you guys where the spawner is in relation to like our cave system. But it was um just luck of the draw, really. I think. I'm very happy with it though, because I like um, skeleton spawners anyway. Uh, 
They're, I know they're not technically the most useful anymore because you can trade with like rotten flesh with villagers, but we don't have a villager, so I'm not gonna lose my mind over that. We've already been down here, apparently. Oh, that's where the that's where the spawner is. There you go. That's like where 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 is that? I was um I almost missed it to be fair. I just saw the cobble and I thought it was somewhere I had placed cobble, and then I was like, I don't think I've been that way actually. Uh, and I had a little explore, and lo and behold, we've got, even got a record now as well. Do we have to collect all the records? Is that another task? Christ. Uh, oh, it goes this way, does it? It's just... We don't need all this lava, Christ. I saved some of it because it's a good light source, obviously, but I'm not that manic about making sure that I keep every source of lava. The nether is a real thing. Just, I just want to make sure that the majority of this we've seen. Ooh. Ooh. Per play. I think this is quite useful in the new update. This, the, the like amethyst geodes that spawn. Ow, bastard. We'll still just do like a block of it. Or two. Does it convert back into the crystal? Uh... No, it doesn't. Block of amethyst, okay. We'll we'll leave this for now. We'll come back. We know we've got blocks of amethyst somewhere. And that's what we will take away from this. Put this guy out of his misery. Dead. 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 I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. I've got to leave. I've got to leave. I'm getting greedy. I don't want to lose the stuff I've got. Let me out. God damn you. Okay, so. This is the spawner here. Which, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. And I'm just going to do... Do that. Make it very clear that this is where the spawner is. Okay, and have it nice and lit up. I think then this this yes, yeah, so here, here you go. So this is where our strip mine is. So let's let's make sure we make it very obvious that we've got a spawner this way. Because I'd like to make sure that I don't lose that. Because that's definitely next episode right there. Spending a bit of time uh, working with that. So we're just going to clear this a little bit. And then we're going to go... Um, what can we drop that's useless to us? What else is useless to us? Tough. Just to get uh, those little drops. Um, and then we know that it's literally just... This away. And then we just come up. And we go, oh, okay, where, where is this spawner? Oh, it's, it's right here. I like to very much mark things. I don't know if you can tell by what I'm doing now. I'm going a bit mad with the whole, this is where it is. Because I will lose this. Drop of the hat. Like, straight away lost. But we can't lose it now. Um, so it's right just up here. And then we've got, oh, a zombie villager there. Uh, the name tags are good, actually. They'll become very useful. Because um, we got how many in the end? Two. Two name tags. Very good. Uh, and then we come back through here. And then up. So I'm going to probably go back to time-lapsing in a second. And I will see you guys in probably the next episode. Because I doubt they'll be much more interesting than a, than a spawner. So, yeah, let's go back to time-lapsing.